What's good, darling gang? Welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be doing a Sheen haul. There will be a lot more hauls to come on my channel because I like shopping. But um, let's go ahead and get right into the video. And remember, all of the items that I show you guys will be listed in the description box below, just in case if you see anything that you like, and you can go copy for yourself. So, um, you guys probably can't see all of the clothes because some of the clothes I know are probably out of frame. But for whatever reason, I color coded them. So I have like the whites first, then the blue, the green, brown, black, and then the pants and stuff. I don't know why I did that. I'm a weirdo like that. But anyways, let's jump right into the first item. Um, actually, let's jump into the first two items because I got two of the same shirts. I got one in white and then one in a lime color. So it's just this super cute button up shirt with a collar on it um when i first saw it on shein it was giving crop top vibes but when i got it um glad that i got my size because it actually fits like a regular top so this is something that i could wear out or it's definitely something that i could wear to work here's the second top that i got and i got this top because i really like those tops that kind of fit at like a square up here on the chest but um this one is more so like it has a boxy shape but then it also kind of has that sweetheart neckline as well so makes the girls look super cute <laughs> and yeah it feels like it might be a bit hot to wear in the summertime it's not much material anyway so i don't think you would really get hot in this here is the fourth shirt it's also a white shirt it has that cow neck neckline um i've had a shirt like this before and I don't really buy a lot of shirts like this because, I don't know, It's for me it's always hit or miss with the cow neckline. The shirt that I had before I got from Boohoo and the neckline just fit real weird. It didn't look, not to say that a cow neckline should look structured anyway because it is like a droopy neckline, but the one that I had it just didn't fit right at all. So like when I was moving in the top, it was a lot of little nip slips happening. So. Um, try this one on and see if um, it fits nicely and if it doesn't then just have to give it away but yeah I can't go wrong with white tops so I'm glad I got this one hopefully it fits really nice. here is another white top and I got this one because I've been falling in love with the um what are they call I guess the tie front tops I already have a tie front top but it's more so like in the cotton material this one, I thought the material was a bit interesting. I feel like with this type of material, because it's a little bit more textured, it'll probably help the top to fit a lot more structured than just the cotton t-shirt look. Okay, you guys, so when I got this, um, I don't know, like, you know how like you buy stuff and then because you don't keep going back to see what you bought, it kind of looks different to you in your mind? When I brought this, I was thinking it was a button-up. I thought the pineapples were super cute. It was a super, you know, little flirty summer vibe. But I was thinking that it was a button-up top, and it's not a button-up top. Um, you'll see when I try it on, all of this will be out. I'll probably wear it with like some body jewelry, some um, body chains or something like that. But I'm kind of glad that it's like, I don't know what that is. I'm kind of glad that it's kind of like, detail because I feel like if it was buttoned up it would have kind of looked a little bit more childlike I guess so yeah um, you know you got your cute little pineapples and then you'll have like your little chest out and, yeah have a nice little grown and sexy moment so this is the last white top that I got and I know from looking at it you guys are probably like that's literally just material in your hand um, <laughs> but you'll see when I try it on um, that the fit is super cute um when i saw the girl or the model on shein with it on it looked like this shirt was like attached so when it came in the mail and then i opened it up and it was just like this i realized okay you have to structure it to your body to get it to look like how the girl had it on in the picture so yes you'll see how it goes I'm put that on but it's so cute i'm glad i got this top and the material is nice, it's thick, and it's giving that, um, that sweater material. So here is another top, and it's in this, I guess you could say, sky blue or like baby blue 
color. Um, crazy, ever since I brought those um, blue shoes from Circoni, I've been really liking this baby blue color. And funny enough, it's actually my younger sister's favorite color. So if I don't end up liking the top, I can always give it to her. So yeah, I definitely can't wait to pair this with some really cute light denim flare leg jeans. Um, I don't know in my head, like when I get really um, flirty tops like this with like a lot of cleavage sewing, I don't know why I always think that I want to pair it with like flare leg jeans. I guess like it evens it out so you have like your showing cleavage up here but then you have everything covered below. So I don't know, it just balances itself out in my mind. But yeah. And our next three tops are very little fun summer tops. So you guys, this was actually um a bathe a bikini set um so when i saw this they were advertising it like a shirt but then when you go into the picture it's actually a bikini set so i looked for the bottoms couldn't find them but i thought the um the style and the color of the shirt was so cute so i'll just be wearing it as a shirt and um of course when i try it on you guys will see how it fits and how you're supposed to wear it so here is a super cute brown top and this is giving me um those i guess they call them handkerchief shirts where it seems like it's just you know like kind of like a scarf just draped on you so yeah and the back your back will be all out you'll have like a little crisscross detail and yeah i don't know, I always feel weird just holding the top up because you can't really tell like how it's supposed to fit but of course as i'm talking and showing it to you you guys will definitely be able to see how it fits on me because it is a dryer haul. Here is another fun and flirty little top. This is more so like a light brown color. Um, just a, you know, real cute shirt to wear when it's nice and hot outside. Um, of course, with a lot of these tops, you'll have to wear um, some pasties under there. I'll show you guys. I got a lot of, the, I got some adhesive bras, so I'll show you. Um, because the material is giving thin, you know, it's shein, shein, it's not expensive at all. You know, you can find shirts in there for, what, three and four dollars sometimes. So, yeah, I will definitely show you guys the adhesive bras that I got to wear with shirts like this that, you know, sometimes the material can be a little bit lacking and sometimes can be a little bit see-through. So, yeah, that's that. Here are you guys is this great big <laughs> t-shirt um the reason why i brought this was because it's supposed to be a glow in the dark t-shirt so it's just a you know little graphic tee of the moon i guess these are supposed to be like little star speckles and stuff and i tested it out it does glow in the dark i'll definitely show you guys that it glows in the dark this is a big ass t-shirt i was thinking i could probably pull it off as like a shirt dress look and just like kind of like tie up the bottom, maybe wear it with some thigh high boots. We'll see. If all else fails, we got us a nice glow in the dark night shirt. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. So here are the first pair of pants that I got from Shein. And they're just these um gray leggings. They kind of give the vibes of like sweatpants, but they are definitely thin enough to be considered leggings when they have like the little ruching on the leg. I thought that that was super cute. So yeah, I would probably pair these with like some all white tennis shoes, some slides, cute white top. We will see. So here are the second pair of pants that I got from Shein. And as you can see, um, they did a cute little spin on cargo pants. The knees are completely out. You can tie it up on the side. They're a little ruched and scrunched at the bottom. And I brought these because I was on Jerly She and I brought this really cute white top from Jerly She. And the girl had on just a regular pair of cargo pants. But when I went on Sheen, I couldn't find, well, I, I found cargo pants, but it just wasn't the ones that, you know, was speaking to how I wanted to style the outfit. So, but then when I found these, baby, these will definitely do the trick and I can't wait to show you guys what that outfit looks like. I'll probably end up doing a, um, a haul, not a haul, I'll probably end up doing like a reel on Instagram. So these are the third pair of pants that I got from Shein. 
and it's giving like that um, wet leather look I guess sometimes like when you buy things it might look a little bit different on the model or on the picture than it does when you get it I guess I don't know like when I think they'll look different on one I don't know they're giving cheap that's what I'm trying to say they're giving a little bit cheap but um I really like these I feel like paired with the right top and the right shoe the right bag it'll definitely be cute it has the side zipper so you can get into the pants and it also has this little split in the bottom here are the fourth pair of pants that I got from Sheen and these right here um I don't know I like them a lot better on the sweat on the site um Looking at them now, um, they're okay. What stood out to me the most when I was um, putting these in my cart was definitely the little hip straps right here. So you put the pants on and then the straps come up. It's kind of giving like that 2000s look when the girls would wear their thong straps outside of their pants. Um, so yeah. And then at the bottom again, you have the split hem and then you have this cute little detail actually I guess tie it around your leg so I'm definitely gonna work with them um, to see what's the right items to pair with them to make them look cute and if I can then I'll just might end up giving them away. So these are the only pair of shorts that I got in the Shein haul. They're these cute dark denim uh, shorts. They are definitely not too short so um, they come down far enough to where they could be family appropriate if you're going out and about with the family or if there are kids around. The thing that I thought that was really cute was that it has this little split hem right here that rests on your thigh and I thought that those kind of gave them a little grown vibe. And last but not least, these are the only pair of jeans that I got in the haul and they are these light wash flare leg jeans. That's what they look like in the front and this is what they look like in the Bag. I thought that these were super cute because they're just a regular pair of flare like jeans. You just throw it on with a really cute top, maybe some heels and go. And so yeah, that's that. Okay, so let's get into some of the accessories that I brought. But before the accessories, let's talk about these adhesive balls that I got. So this came as a two-pack, and I'm sorry, I'm trying not to let this stick to my hand. But this was a two pack, it came with a new bra and a black adhesive bra. And actually this one is out of the pack because I actually wore it this past weekend. And plus this is the one that I'll be wearing to try on all of these tops. But yeah, you definitely can't go wrong with an adhesive bra. I like how these fit a lot better than like these type of um, pasties. So whereas this is like a whole adhesive bra, these are just pasties and um, with these, if the material on your top or your dress or whatever is thin enough, you will definitely see these through. So like, um, if you're out in a well-lit area or somebody takes a bunch of a flash, you'll definitely end up seeing these under the top and it's not that flattering. I've worn these under a dress and I'll be wearing them as I'm trying on these tops and you guys will be able to see that you can't really tell that I have one pasties it just looks like I have on something that gives good coverage so that's that so this is another adhesive bra that I got it's blue it has this really pretty feather detail on it and this to me is something to be worn probably under like a sheer top and I definitely have a sheer top that I would wear with these under it and these little pieces right here is where the adhesive bra would connect like this Just did this. There we go. And it just connects like that, and you would just wear it under your top like this. The next three items that I got are three purses. So, this is the first purse that I got. Um, it's this really cute, I guess it's supposed to resemble like crocodile material or whatever, but. Um, me, I was a sucker for the gold details on the um, strap and the purse. Definitely not the biggest purse. You could probably fit your phone, 
lip gloss, a mirror, hand sanitizer, lotion, um, and maybe like a little card holder for your money or your credit cards and stuff. But yeah, for me, I'm kind of out of that phase where I'm like, like a really big purse, so this is actually perfect. I love the fit. I love that it doesn't go down too far. It just rests right here. Here is the second purse that I got. And this is more of a nude tannish color. Um, it comes with the straps in the purse. So I'm guessing you could probably wear it just as like a little clutch. Or if, of course, if you want the strap, you can attach the strap. And it hangs a little lower than I would like. But that's cool. Not too bad. I feel like if I wanted it to sit up higher, I would just do something to adjust the straps in here. Maybe tie it together. And it's probably not going to stay all night, so it's probably something you would have to do again. Close it, and there you go. Fits just the way I like. Again, um, I'm loving the gold hardware on the purse. It's a fairly small purse, so you can't really fit much inside. The third and final purse is this white one. And so, with this purse, the strap again comes inside the bag. But, it has this really cute knotted detail. And I'm going to have to look online again to see how they tied it, I think. I think this is how they did it, so I'm definitely going to check the website just to see. Is that how they did it? I don't know. <laughs> it looks a little funny, but you guys get the hang of it. I love the texture on the purse. I love that it has gold hardware. I love that it's not a super big purse. And yeah, I'm definitely going to go back on Sheen and look to see how I'm supposed to tie it. But super cute purse nonetheless. And our last couple of items are some jewelry items. And let's see. Oh, and some nails. Okay, so we'll do the jewelry first. As y'all can see, like, these two rings are the rings that you mostly see me wear. So I'm not really big on rings. So we have this really cute stacked ring that has the rose gems in it. <laughs> And I thought that that was so cute because my um, birthday is in October, so the October birthstone is actually a rose-colored gem. So let's see. Try that on. And that is what it looks like. Hopefully the camera is focusing in on that. Maybe if I block out my face. But that's what the first ring looks like. The second ring is um, also, it's these two separate rings. Um, it's the yin and yang sign. Let me put that on so you guys can see. So that's what that looks like when you um, put the ring on. It's just the yin yang sign. I guess this was probably meant to be like a friendship ring type of thing. And the third ring is this one right here. It's super simple, super basic. It just says Libra on it. Libra is my zodiac sign. And so the last ring is this super cute and dainty bow ring. And as you can see on the band, it's surrounded by the clear gems. So I thought that that was really, really cute. So these are the next um, accessories that I got. And they're basically just these rope earrings. I don't know if y'all can see that too. These are just a pair of um, earrings with the rope detail. And the second pair are just these um, chunky twisted earrings. I'm not so much into really, really big hoops anymore. I feel like I have maybe like two pair that I barely wear. So now I'm more into like the medium size or even like just the really small hoops like the ones that I have on now. I thought whenever I feel like switching it up, these would be a cute option to have. Another accessory item that I got from Shein would be this body chain. So 
this um, I guess it's supposed to mimic like if you have um, waist beads I do have waist beads so I have waist beads but I tend to wear mine just under my clothes I don't really wear my waist beads for a show unless I'm wearing like a bathing suit or just like a crop top or something this one I guess would be more so um, if you wanted to wear it like as a part of your outfit and I guess it can be worn like that, it can be worn as a necklace. We'll see however I decide to style it. But yeah, that's that. Hopefully you guys can see that detail of the two chains. So I get a lot of um, press on nails from Shein um, or Etsy. But um, because Shein items tend to be on the cheaper side, um, I don't get as many as I used to get from Shein, but I did see these green ones that were really, really cute, and they kind of reminded me of these, um, green press-ons that I saw, um, Kayla Cake wear, um, she's another YouTuber, and I thought that the green and the gold detail was really different, so I picked those up, and then I got these clear press on nails that have the yellow French and the yellow flower. I thought that was such a classic look, so I picked those up. And the last couple of accessory items that I got are these face or body gems. So these are the same exact thing. And then I have these ones where, I don't know if you'll be able to see them, but they're just these clear gems that are, um, butterfly roses and then just the little dot gems but um you know something cute just to jazz up your makeup look really well wow, maybe if you go to a festival but yeah you guys those are all the items that i got in my sheen haul um there will be a lot more hauls to come again because i do like to shop i have so many things that i have brought over the course of the pandemic when we were all in quarantine and in the house and wasn't going nowhere so I had no reason to wear it um and if I was on my YouTube game I would have been you know making hauls then but there will be plenty more hauls to come I really like making these type of videos and I hope that you guys like seeing them so definitely give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know in the comment section below if you would like to see more hauls um so yeah I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.